Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of all the red flags and analyzing investment properties that could happen. Um, hmm. Let's see. Well, there's always the one where there's a huge tree out back. You know the one I'm talking about, the beautiful oak tree that's 150 years old. But unfortunately, the roots are growing into the foundation and it's leaving branches and roof damage and lots of gutter cleaning uh, that needs to happen that probably needs to be taken down. I've seen trees cost six grand plus to take down if they're big enough and bad enough. So these are really just red flags that you wanna be aware of. Um, because when you're running the numbers on a property, every property is unique and specific. And some of these things can really skew things one way or another. Doesn't mean you shouldn't buy the property. I've bought in several properties um, that have these red flags and that's sometimes what makes them a good deal. But you do need to be aware of them so you can appropriately account for them in your numbers. In general, I tell people to kind of stay away from them. So a couple of the others, swimming pools, total money suck, total liability, uh, septic systems and wells great on one hand, but the tenant usually pays the water sewer bill anyway, and now you just got a 10 or $15,000 system that's gonna need maintenance and eventually need to be replaced. And let's be honest, tenant ain't very happy when they can't flush a toilet or get clean drinking water. Uh, a couple other red flags you wanna be looking for would be things like not just big, huge trees, but just a lot of trees around, mean that you're probably gonna have higher than normal uh, wear and tear on your roof, and you're gonna need some routine gutter cleaning as well. Power lines on properties turn off a lot of tenants. Some people get, you know, scared of the whole radioactivity, uh, you know, radio waves. I, I don't know. Maybe they, they think their brains are going to get scrambled or something, but maybe that's true. I probably wouldn't want to rent there either, uh, mostly because it just is kind of a nuisance. Um, let's see a couple other things you might want to be thinking about. Um, well, that's about it that I can think of. And stay tuned in case I happen to remember any more. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for being nerdy with me. See ya.